supposed to have like a grand intro, like, hey everybody, welcome to the Days Man Show. I'm here, I'm Frank. I'm the now. This is Gibby. I'm like half out now. Hey guys, I'm back. I have such a great introduction. Oh, we got Cheever behind the desk, or way down there. He's not there for you, he's there, but. I, I, I decided to sleep in today. There's Cheever. Uh, and we've got a show. A good, bad, I don't know. I'm just here. Different. I don't else. even get fined if I don't show up. I'm just here. Dace is, Dace is still saving elephants down in Africa. If you decide to triple our salary for the next for two weeks. Yeah. Yep. Triple the payday. Bonuses are thousand percent bigger. That's right. Coming from the CFO. Helps That's right, yeah, baby. Woohoo! That's right. Three, three times zero is still zero, so. <laughs> so please, subscribe and follow. Maybe we'll make a dollar. That means we each get, like, a quarter. Hey, one quarter, that's all you're getting. Hey, buy a gumball with that quarter. Do they still have gumball machines? Yes, they do, actually. Like, the Rona didn't kill those off? Nope. Well, they're they're easy money. Well, yeah, yeah. but I just, like... We go to the one that goes to the uh, ice cream thing over there, they got... What ice cream? The, oh, the ice cream place? I, yeah, I don't know what the hell it's called now. Well, you probably shouldn't say what it's called, that way they can't pinpoint our location. Yeah, I got I have no idea what it's called now. Like, <laughs> that thing changes names, like, every year, I feel like. But, that's fair. But yeah, they so. got they got they got one gumball machine, or that one of them has gumballs, and the rest are bouncing ball, a bunch of toys. Oh, mixing those up would be a tragedy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but yeah, so we've got stuff. I don't know what we're talking about. Again, normally days opens up with like topics, but I'm very unprepared. So people show up, people leave, people I, die. I don't. Whoa, <laughs> well, that's that a turn for the dark. Yeah. All right. Uh, Cheever, you got anything to talk about? Any um, hot breaking news in your life? Or celebrity's life? Or any fucking thing you want to talk about? <laughs> well, we can talk about how I almost got engaged this past week. Oh, God, I'm out. Peace, motherfuckers. I mean, I'm sure it's a terrible story, but I'll, I'll buy it. I'll, here, I'll do it for you. Uh, yeah, how, Cheever? Tell us more. So, you know, I'm a lonely individual. Doesn't surprise anyone here. Nobody's shocked right, at that, though. I, prostitute I, doesn't count, though. <laughs> Did you accidentally say I love you? And she was like, uh, put a ring on it. <laughs> Not to a prostitute. <laughs> but you did accidentally. Right, it's on. an escort. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a fine line between the two here. Gibby, you should know better. So anyway, so lonely, blah, 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 the normal deal. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's that time of year where I just go, let's open up OK Cupid. Okay. Let's see, let's see what's out there. Jesus and I see I have 86 likes. 86? 86 likes. That's pretty good. Exactly. I was like, yeah, that's that's a higher norm, number of likes than normal. Normally, it's like four or five. So I was like, it's, okay. Yeah, but it's, he hasn't opened it up in a year. Well, no, he had about, fi about five months. Yeah. About five but months. See, yeah. what what happens is when you're active on it, you get one and a half likes. You shut it down and they realize you stopped. They're like, uh, no, 87 people love you. Come back to us. And you're, not too, funny. you're not too far from the truth. So I got... So I was like, I need to, I need to see who, who, who liked me. Well, yeah, you guys. I, I need out. to, I need to get laid. See the road. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'll, I'll be blunt about it. <laughs> that went one way. All right. Exactly. So I, I paid for premium so I could see all the likes. See, so they got you. They you fell right in the fucking man. trap. You're like, like chee chee. Go on. Mistake number one. But go on. <laughs> right. So I look at everything. We're robots. No, actually, surprisingly. 90 Only 85. Of, <laughs> 85 out of 86. Out of 86. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Maybe 84. <laughs> About 90% are from Thailand, Philippines, or Eastern Asia. Yeah, so robots. Those are totally just spoof accounts. Or somebody's trying to get a green card. Or that. Which, look, hey, mail order brides out there. Hey, I'll okay. do it. It's a way to get married. It's a way to get laid. <laughs> Actually, I really want to. It. So, uh, for shits and giggles... One time we were what well, we were talking about it on the show, at some point along this illustrious career of a show we had. But we were talking about mail order brides at some point. I remember right. looking it up. It's fucking expensive to do because like you don't just be like yeah come over and get me. No, you gotta like go there. You gotta meet like meet up with them. Then you gotta pay to fly them over. And like there's a whole fucking system of it's like, like ninety days. Yeah. yeah, it's a little, it's a little, a little intensive. Yeah, so it's not as easy as the the internet would make you think it is. Or that show, it's like. Well, I think the show's 90 Day Fiance. Right? I mean, That's I already had... But, yeah. <laughs> but it, no, it's pretty much the same thing. Well, well, kind of. Yeah. A lot more script. There's also, like, Love at First Sight, where you, like, just get married right away or something. <gasps> but anyway, so you're finding your Taiwanese girlfriend. Go on. Yeah, so uh, we ended up talking. 
to uh, one of the Taiwanese Taiwanese Ta- yeah. Thai, yeah, Thai, yeah. Okay. So we ended up talking for a day. Then you she know, goes, and everything, every single you should thing get married. He said everything he said. You picked up only the Taiwanese, and of course, it's the one he talks to. Huh? You two months are in the same wavelength here. Hey, I, I understand how the game's played. Okay. <laughs> they're the ones that respond the most. Because they're not... Re- so she she said you should get married? Oh, or yeah. We actually added... I added her on Facebook oh, and everything. She So she brought it up first. 100%. I'm stalking Chief on Facebook because he tells the real story. Oh, uh, uh, see, this, this, this is the, the week I have had has been such a roller coaster of a week. Did you already unfriend her on Facebook? She already unfriended me. Oh god, you're not even Cheever on Facebook anyway. Pause. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's why I got confused. Oh like, my god, that didn't last long. No, she got upset because I told her, I on Thursday night, I told her, hey look, I have my kid for the next six days, it's a holiday weekend, so I'm gonna be busy, and on top of that, I'm gonna be busy at work, because it's the busy season for us. Uh-huh. She goes, okay, cool. She wakes up Friday, whatever time it is for her. She wakes up, she goes, but you have enough time to make Facebook posts, but you don't have enough time to talk to me. No wonder why everyone's broken your heart. No wonder why no one loves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She ain't wrong. <laughs> and then she was like, she ain't wrong. I don't, I don't trust you at all. Unfriended me. And then <laughs> last yeah. night while I was at work, she decides to message me and go, I'm sorry. I said some really hurtful things, and then added try adding me back on Facebook. But you didn't. Why would you not just accept that shit, yo? Can you accept it now so I can follow? Her oh, one hundred percent. Exactly. One hundred percent. We got a stalker. <laughs> it's called Stalker Network for a reason. I'll, I'll hit up the Taiwanese chick. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I hear you're looking to get married. She also has a friend that's looking to get married, so she has someone that she can talk to. In Thai and feel like she's so, not alone. Let, let me get this right though. She she lives in Thailand. Yes. She, she's there now. Yes. Currently. Yes. Has she ever been to the states? No. So wait, a minute, how the hell does that work? So she's done okay, Cupid. She's. I thought it's not like the one where you constantly swipe left. Isn't that like? Well, they all they all turn they all they, turned into that. Well, they all have like some form of that. I think I don't think I've ever used okay. Cupid. I, I thought it was like geosync, so like you see people like oh, within yeah. like fifty miles of wherever. You're, that you're was going. Tinder when it first came out. You can set your locate. You can like set preferences to like look worldwide. I'm pretty sure, probably. Like even Tinder, you can go worldwide now. Like fuck yeah, it. Isn't, yeah. isn't it just? Is there a button saying "Looking for an American idiot"? Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Because ready, like if I were to show you my screen, she un- she 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 canceled her request. By the way, but you can can't. Yeah, did she like like one of your things? I'm super curious now. Like I, I'm heavily invested in this. Oh, I, I'll be more than I'll be more than happy to pull all her shit up. Okay. Well, more than happy. Yeah, but it doesn't do us any good because we can't see your screen. <laughs> yeah, screen share it onto the yeah, can, can you uh, can you uh, Chromecast it? Basically, if you're listening, we need to learn how to Chromecast onto the station. Please. Or or Apple Apple yeah. Cast or t- something. Technology producer man, come on. Kind of producer, are you. I mean, granted, I was gonna look on my phone, and you wouldn't be able to see it either. But <laughs> at this point, yeah, really. So, okay, so let me let me refresh, like, make sure I got this whole story complete. Apparently, it's you sure I can. So, just look. <laughs> so 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 heartfelt. Okay, Cupid, or you were in Taiwan. Um, <laughs> Tinder. I think I think theirs was Tinder. I was gonna say I thought it was. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have no idea. So let me get this straight. You. uh... Just Earlier last week, you were just sad, lonely, and probably taking a shit. And you're like, you know what? I'm gonna open up OK Cupid because this is gonna be a while. All right, now time out. Where are you taking a shit? <laughs> now I'm just curious. Now he's been spot on so <laughs> far, like crazy. Like, am I, am I that far out of the game? <laughs> Look, Cheever has like three modes. He's not answering. So Cheever, yes, you're right. What Cheever, the fuck, man. Cheever has three modes. I know this about Cheever. He's got three modes. He's either sleeping, working, or pooping. That's all he's doing. So <laughs> that's not too far from the truth. So he wasn't Christ. sleeping when he did it, and he probably wasn't working because it's evidently busy at work. That leaves pooping. <laughs> so anyway, you're pooping. Decided to get on OK Cupid, and you're like, ah, well, look at all these people that fancied the chief. What? The well, I'll pay the fourteen ninety five for a month membership. Oh my God! For the love of God, I don't know tell if that's me a, it's not that much. I hope I'm wrong on that one. I don't know how much it is though. How much? But anyway, so you pay for the membership well, so you can see him, and you're well, scrolling. What's the name of this? Thing? Okay, Cupid. Yeah. You're scrolling through, and you're just like, you, you look like a good person, a 
and messaged her? Uh, I went through all the likes. Yeah. And all the ones I found attractive, I just liked as well. I was waiting for you to say just delete it because you assume they were scammed. Because that's what I do. If I get likes on a, a dating platform, I'm like, you're too pretty to be real and just delete it. Yeah, so I, I liked, and I think she started the conversation you first. premium? Hey, he's got money, man. How much is it? For one month? Did you, oh, uh, well. No fucking way. There's no fucking way. Okay, cute. What? No fucking way. Dude. You must be really desperate. <laughs> Yeah. For okay, keep that mind. Was it fuck? Okay, so anyway, so <laughs> how you you liked what, them? All, wait, what is it? I, you liked them all back, and she messaged what? you. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then you guys chatted for a while, about three or four hours. Yeah. Okay. Decent back and forth. She spoke e decent English. Yeah, she, I, she used Google Translate. You can tell. Okay. She used the word rooster. Did you? <laughs> okay, did you get now? Now, wait a minute. We need to come back. What was that in reference to? Yeah, so you guys were sexting. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. That's what I was thinking. One hundred percent. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> and then she, and then she proposed getting married or said wanted to get married. Well, obviously, so 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 since we're sexting, since we're sexting, she goes. By the way, I'm not gonna have sex until I get married. See, yeah, that's trap number three. But yeah, she, that's, she's clear here. For so she said, "When are you gonna come fly out to Thailand? See, and engage, get engaged with me." Where is to Thailand? Is that uh, right next? to That's part of China, or it's next to China. I want to say it's China. Over there, China. Yeah. it's by the Orient Sea. How, how much are flights to Thailand? I well, I say we take this pack to show up. I'll grab the fucking camera. We're we'll going to Thailand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it right now. We'll call the series like Cheever gets laid. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's probably cheaper than what you paid for fucking subscription. <laughs> Think of it like Euro Trip, only better slash worse. <laughs> but definitely that style. Like we're gonna go, we're gonna go to we'll build a whole back to Chief, we got this. We All got, right. I got you, buddy. We're going to Thailand. Dace, right. if you're listening, budget for the show to take a trip to Thailand. We'll start a GoFundMe. We'll take pictures of Cheever. You don't even have to act sad, just be like, we wanna get him late. People will back it, boom. Yeah, he's in, he's in. <laughs> I'm already I am a hundred fucking percent sold on this idea. Uh let's see, we depart. Monday. So, so um, anyway, while well, he looks up prices to Thailand. Yeah. So you guys are currently not talking again? Yeah, we're currently not talking again. Oh. Okay. She, because, because for a while, like right off the bat, she went, I decided to stop talking to all guys. You're my only one person that I'm talking to. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. Yeah. No, nah, you don't. If you're looking for a green card to get out of your country, you talking to every guy. You talking to every yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's multiple red flags with this entire story. One hundred percent. But that being said, I am not against going to Thailand to hunt her down. Yeah, um, Sounds a fun time, actually. Exactly. Did you? No, for us, not you. You're oh, fucked. Huh. She uh, did she, realistic. So like, she add you on Facebook. She seemed real on Facebook because you could tell fake accounts. Oh what. A, Fuck We've had son. conversations here, Frank. <laughs> Real conversations. Right. Do you want to see the conversations? Look, we'll and learn a darker on. side of me. Well, <laughs> we've already somehow <laughs> talked 15 minutes on this, so I, I think we'll follow this up after the show and find out how we're getting to Thailand and moving on, because we're gonna dive deep, down a deep hole here. Cheapest well, price: three hundred seventy-three dollars. To what? Thailand? Let's go. Three From PHL? Three hundred dollars. That's what it says. No, oh, there's what? no That's fucking way. I don't know. You're asking the wrong fucking person. Fuck it, three hundred dollars. We'll be there this weekend. <laughs> like, and you want to? That's a the possibility. Northern, the northern parts, five eighty. I guess is Bangkok. That's fucking cheaper than my flight home right now. For, I was looking at flights to Iowa. They're all five hundred dollars plus. Like I'll go. Well, I'll, I, bet you, I bet you this whole COVID thing probably has those flights probably pre I don't care. I'm tell my mom like, hey, Ma, sorry, I was gonna come home to visit, <laughs> but Cheever's getting late in Thailand. I gotta go. Do right. So, I mean, dude, we're not what, watch it. what are you it's looking at? Party, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's almost it's like eleven hundred dollars. Well, evidently you don't know how to. I just Googled it and kayak showed up. With the yeah, but we're not going to Bangkok. <laughs> Where, 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 we where are we going? Too. We're going to the fucking farmlands. What? So well, 580 was the northern, the northern okay, one. Okay, for three hundred dollars, we fly into Bangkok and, and then we fucking, fucking steal fly. a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> and and or, get on a fucking elephant. Come on. No, we got this. Don't don't they love their like scooters and yeah. motorbikes there? Yeah. Because right? I remember watching Top Gear and they would do that in Thailand. So I've seen Thai like I know how we that works. We got this. Yeah, we got. We're we got this. In. 
in. Jeez. Write that down. Somebody write that down. Jess, you're listening. Write that down. We're going right, to Thailand. Yeah, we're doing it. I'm so glad. I'm actually glad you brought this up, Chiever. Now we're going to Thailand. <laughs> show trip. We're gonna be. We're gonna do something. That's right. Yeah. Get famous, or you'll get herpes. Well, to oh, be honest, I have. Let, my my like my likes right now. Oh look, another like. Um. Oh look, my like, like ratio. Oh, oh man, like, oh this guy put money into the system. So I I had to clear it out the other day. Get the fuck out of here. My like rate my likes is three hundred and twenty four likes right now. Okay. Majority of them are East Asian. Okay. So What's we that? can make a series out of Wait this. Wait, is this is, is is there like preferencing in there, and you put East East Asian women? No, no, I put sure. worldwide. I put worldwide. Put worldwide. <laughs> and they're looking for Americans. You're like, you're like anybody, please. I said we wanted to move topics, but now I got, I have a couple follow up questions. And, 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 and then it's also preference, so, male or female. I guess. Ah, I don't care. Everywhere. Are yeah. all your profile pictures you in your weird work suits? Yes. So they think oh, you have like money. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, smart man. <laughs> anyway, smart man. what I've also <laughs> taken away from this is I'm downloading OKCupid okay, after this. Can I borrow forty dollars? <laughs> you can't, right? Like, what the fuck? Trust me, don't do the month membership. No, well, I looked at it was like six dollars a month for the like twelve months, so it's like seventy two, but fuck? it's at least something like I don't fucking know. How much did I fucking pay then? It was forty dollars for one month, and then it's uh it's twenty nine ninety nine if you buy it for three months, but it's twenty nine ninety nine for each month. Yeah, so but it goes down like if you buy twelve months at once, you get. I only, it for I only like saw the, those two months. options. I was more mind blown because I know he said he bought for a month and I'm like there's no fucking way out of <laughs> yeah no dude four fucking forty fucking dollars yeah, can, can, is tinder that much oh I can find out uh I don't know do you want me to buy tinder I'll buy tinder and I'll start swiping right now set it to worldwide <laughs> the show has taken a weird turn this yes. is a, that's a separate a cheaper dating segment is a total different thing that's right alright that's a spin off series so the question is do I get tinder gold or do I get tinder platinum what the fuck is the difference well, I assume plat. Does platinum your phone blow you when you buy it? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, oh, I mean platinum's a lot cheaper. Okay, so then the gold is probably better. Well, I'm I'm speaking in they, regards to okay, okay, okay Cupid. Cupid. Yeah, okay Cupid's fucking a ripoff, and you bought it. Uh, well, so it's it probably is. Tinder. <laughs> Tinder's still probably. Wow, well, we know okay, somebody Cupid. who worked Tinder and got got one. I mean, yeah, yeah. So we know it works, maybe. I get it. Did he have pictures of him in a suit? No, he had pictures of his hair. Just his hair. She fell in love with his hair and then found out that he did have locks, hair. Some locks of joy. And then cut it. I tried growing the hair out. It ain't working for me. Mm-mm-mm. Um, anywho. Honestly, Tinder's so much better. What the fuck am I still doing with OkCupid? I don't know. Again. I'm breaking up with OkCupid. <laughs> right. And then I took all your money. Yeah. Again, we'll turn this into a spinoff series. Cheever Dates. Yeah. You have to understand. See, now, once you try breaking up with them, right? Now, then right. they're like, we have to subscribe for at least three more months, and I have to re-put it in writing. You know, I'm actually I clearly don't give a shit. just like a gem. You know what's really going to be depressing out of this whole Cheever Date series? Yeah. Is that he's going to get married to some Taiwanese chick, and I'm just going to get depressed because I'm still single. No, 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 no. She's going to need a friend to say, come to the United States oh. with her. It's a win-win. You're, you're just making him do all the work. So it's Cheever and Frank date. I got, I'm, I'm in now. Yeah, exactly. Who needs 90 Day Fiance when we can just tour uh, Asia? D- deal. All right. Um, Japan will be a little bit harder for us, though. Japan? Japan, yeah. No, more... I th- thought we were just sticking with the Thai. How far are we going? I'm a, I am I know Chinese. You, you know Chinese? Yeah, I took two semesters. I know Chinese. I play joke. Jeep, I know people again, your problem. life is so fucking weird, Cheever. But all right, this so, is how we get topics like these, though. <laughs> yeah, all we need to do is get like money sponsored to do this shit. And I'm in. All right, we I'll email some, Monster. We get somebody to foot the fucking bills and we film the shit out of it. Hundred percent, it. I will quit my job tomorrow. All right, uh, I'll send some emails. My boss isn't listening. Oh shit! Actually, he shouldn't. Like, hey, if I if if I get a chance to go record a series and get paid to travel East Asia, hundred fucking percent, it. I'll worry about working when I get back. <laughs> in. So there it is. Again, now we've killed twenty minutes on this subject. <laughs> Twenty-three minutes. Best subject ever. I'm by not the complaining. Way. <laughs> just pointing it out. Figure we should move on. Maybe. So speaking speaking of travel, there is another topic that I f- thought was interesting. Look at the segue. I got. Uh, I was reading uh, Kotaku, and the last Air Force base in oh, Afghanistan Pokemon. is closing down. Pokemon. Yep, and which means it's the largest. Air Force base in Afghanistan for us. 
And all the Pokemon stops, all the Pokemon gyms are going to be frozen with American Pokemon. Because there's nobody else there? No one else will be there. I think the local government will be taking over. Yep. But they don't... Uh, the they people don't, that are leaving the base, they don't think that they're, they know how to play. So, so whoever... So, like, you... Your poor little Bulbasaur in the gym is there for all eternity now. Yes. Probably. Most yes. likely. Uh, because one of the, one of the uh, interviewees said, like, I think I'll come back to Afghanistan, just go to motorcycle, just tour the area again, stop by, the, like, the southernmost area of the base just to try to get, just try to see what's in the, in the uh, bases. Yeah. I, I can't believe that that is even newsworthy, but I've seen so many people write stories on that, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? About the poor left lost Pokemon that will never be reunited with their people? Yes, exactly. It is sad, Gibby. <laughs> it, it is sad. No fucking sense, it dude. Is, it is sad. You create a relationship with these pocket monsters, and then they'll be stuck in a tower forever, and you'll never get your coins. Ever. <sighs> no, you can get your coins. You don't get coins till so you get them back. I was gonna say you don't get the coins till so they're what? Trying. And they I'm cap, doing. right? They cap after and like it caps five at days. And it caps at fifty still. So like it could be, they could be there for a year and you're only getting fifty. Well, you would only get fifty coins if you get it back. No, and, and that's only if you didn't get any coins that day already. That's but. oh, wouldn't that be the shit show? Like they somehow got one of their other ones back, got fifty coins, and then they got that one back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, oh fucking hell! Damn it! But, but yeah, that's right. not a. Uh, like if you think about like story where they like they snuck out in the middle of the night, fucking all this shady shit. What about the Pokemon, dude? What? Uh, all I picked up out of this is when we're touring East Asia, we'll just take a detour through Afghanistan on the way back. Yeah, just didn't leave our Pokemon there. Sure, the it's on the way if you go that way. So yeah, and we we can get all the regionals too. That see, there you go. See, big brain, big brain. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so. Anything else, or are we going gaming news? I mean, I got something for gaming news, but I'm not sure if Gibby has that on his... I have everything. Okay, so let's kick it to Gibby's news area segment thing. Gibby! Escalated quickly. God damn. Didn't you see the Gibbadactyl flying around straight up the countryside? Blew, blew all my fire down there. Burn it down to the crisp. Anyways, keep speaking about Pokemon Go. God damn. Right, look at the segues. Look at us tying everything. This, oh, this show Who's is the best producer? Uh, show is flowing great. So I guess it's, it's uh, been out for five years now. Yep. Yes. This is the five year anniversary. Uh, and it just crossed five billion dollars. So a billion dollars a year. That's what they're averaging. Shit. I'm assuming a lot was probably earlier on, but I'm still sure they're making a lot of money now. Because yeah. I mean, well, like uh, you know, now they've started. They have all their fests and things, and like they started doing this thing where you have to pay for some of the community day tasks too. Like it might only be a dollar, but fuck, if you have a hundred thousand active users that pay a dollar. Hundred thousand dollars, or more, depending on you know what they have. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure they're still making plenty of yeah. money. Uh, it says uh, 2021 May uh, just have been the best year ever for Pokemon Go. Uh, apparently, they had the best start to the year ever. Uh, with revenues up 34 percent for the first half of the year. You fucking Pokemon my people are crazy. Yeah, well that's because they also did the other other smart thing of giving remote passes so you could still do it all. They Gave you remote passes so that you could play still without leaving your house. Yeah. You just had to buy the passes. Um, and then when you want to see who has no life in this game, uh, it says America's number one. No, USA! No, USA! No, uh, we are 36.6% of the spenders. Coming in at, uh, at spending at 1.9 billion. The Japanese. Number two is Japan at 32%. Yeah, suck it, Japan. We're beating you at your own game. Number three. Spend money. Germany. Germany. Is it really? Yeah! Man, I love fire. Fire. 5.4%. Fire. 
nailed it. Five point four percent. So it's a uh, thirty, thirty, then five. So clearly, it's two two regions of pretty much dominating that game. Yep, and it all makes sense. Japanese, obviously, because it's their baby, and then us because we're just fucking crazy over here. Yep. So there you go for all you uh, people that love uh, that shitty ass game. Um, I'm not gonna disagree that it's a shitty ass game, but I also will say I play it. Right. I don't dump money into it though. More, I... more Japanese things. Nintendo. Nintendo. Uh, Switch has announced their OLED coming out. Oh, I thought, I thought it was October 8th. I thought for some reason it was September. September, October, same thing. Yeah. Uh, we'll be in Thailand. So that'll be releasing. It looks like it's going to be in two different colors. You have a black and white version. Racists. And then uh, the red and blue version. So is I I watched the trailer thing that somebody put in our chat, but so like, is it just the, the screen on the Switch itself will be OLED and supposed to be pretty? Is that the Chris. whole fucking thing? Yeah. It's going to be an OLED thing. It's also instead of 6.2 or 6.1, it's going to be a 7-inch display. Uh, okay. It's its own dock. The same Joy-Cons are going to be used. Uh, did they upgrade the Joy-Cons at all? You yeah. know, get rid of the drifting problem, or at least no. have it drift in pretty colors. Okay. No. Using the same Joy-Cons. Yep. Drift in pretty colors. <laughs> Got it. Uh, um, so there you go. It looks... But, but I don't know. So it looks, it looks sleek. At least the black and white one, which is the one that they showed off in the trailer. Uh, it looks pretty sleek, but... Uh, so it's probably it's awesome. Enough. Unless you normally play it docked, then it means nothing. Yes. Correct. Because, like, me right now, since I don't travel anymore, if I, I don't turn on my Switch anyway, so this is just <laughs> crap. But if I did, it's docked and I'd be playing it on my TV. Correct. Okay. It's basically making it more mobile-like. Um, I mean, that's good. That's still, I, if that's... People if are that's speculating that, you know, they're probably going to do the same thing they did with the Game Boys, because it's sort of a little bit more handheld-ish, where it's, I think it was every two years they came out with an upgrade version. Yeah. Uh, people were shocked that this wasn't going to have eight... K was it? I think it was 8K, whatever the hell the new resolution is. 4K, whatever. Step up uh, from what they already have. I'm surprised it wasn't in this version. Uh, so there are people already speculating that they might be doing another one again next year uh, to get with the times. Um, but I'm assuming that's probably more dock related. Because uh, I don't know if you can get that many that many into a <laughs> small screen. Right. But I don't know. Well, who the hell knows, right? maybe, maybe that's why they didn't do it. Because, like, uh, just mathematically, it don't fit. Um, I is, mean, it might be dock-related. I, I actually don't know where the hardware is when it comes to the dock and the actual... Like, is the video card technically in the Switch itself, or is it in the dock? I have no idea. I also have no idea, but I think it's probably just in the Switch, because that dock has almost nothing to it. The dock is really just like a plastic, like three D printer cutout with a prong. <laughs> like, I don't think there's anything in the fucking dock. Um, but yeah, so that was released. That was actually kind of a shocker. I was actually shocked you did that then and not at E <laughs> three. Like you know, there's times when everybody announces shit and then yeah. two weeks later you're just like, oh hey, by the way. Yeah. So well, people are people were shocked because like I said, it's you know you just came out with one of the largest gaming events and no. they didn't say shit about. it. <laughs> It's like, huh, I wonder if we had good time to do an announcements and maybe do like a showcase for it. Hmm, no. three. Nah. So are they gonna are they gonna have any shortage issues? Or are they gonna have these readily available or is this like a PS5 type thing? Like, hey check this out. It'll be out October 2025. That's actually a good question. Or here's sixteen of them, because uh, that's how many we could make. Pretty much everything so, Nintendo does and releases with always has a shortage when it first comes out. Every well, everything and, everybody like, comes out with has a shortage. We when it first comes out. we you all of them. As soon as the, when it first releases, it always has an issue. Yeah, well, they, bottle, they bottle they bottle the they bottle the the supply. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was gonna say this is a market strategy with the bullshit, but doesn't mean I approve. Fuck you, Nintendo. Fuck you, Nintendo. Even though, like, well, I I probably won't buy one. Like, but again, that's because I don't play my Switch. We already know someone that will. Well I, well, I don't see the reason to upgrade. Days already probably has a pre-order. Unless, unless you travel with it. Yeah. I, I don't see or why unless you, you play, upgrade. Or, or unless you play it handheld more than anything else. Yeah. Which is why I said travel, but yes. Because uh, Mario Maker happen. 2, it's so much easier to make the levels off of the screen versus on the TV. Because you can touch pad? Yeah. Touch better? Touch screen? But, yeah. So, I mean, that, that it is what it is. We'll see what happens there. Yeah. Um... Something that I thought was shocking, but it's for different reasons. Um, we're gonna stick with Nintendo, by the way. Nintendo. Upcoming Super Smash Brothers Melee tournament shatters prize pool records. What? 
Uh, Smash Summit 11 currently has a single prize pool of over a hundred and forty thousand dollars. Damn, girl, I wish I was good at Smash. Hey Vince, go uh, you know make some money, bud. Well, I'm a little shocked because in competitive gaming, like that, hundred forty thousand for their premier tournament is, in my mind, really, really low. Um, like really, really low. I mean, like pathetically low. <laughs> well, it's you. That's one hundred forty for the entire prize pool, right? Uh, Not just first place, but the entire prize for pool. the whole prize pool. Yeah, single. It's a single prize pool, so that would be for the entire tournament. Yeah, top three. But still, I, I mean, in a way, uh, I don't know. Most, some tournaments are that way. Some tournaments do top ten. It really depends. Well, yeah, it depends on I mean, the invitation. I mean, fucking Blizzard, StarCraft, a fucking dying game. They have a weekly tournament that uh, is a thousand dollars. I think it's six hundred in the first placement, two hundred or three hundred to the second placement, and a hundred to third place. Yeah, and that's that... a fucking game that's basically dead. And yet they do that. They do that every week. And in four different fucking regions, <laughs> like, like I mean, it's gonna blow that fucking like. It doesn't make to me. It's just I, I don't know. I don't know. And I, I you know. can go down like freaking Dota. Dota's prize pool for just the first placement is fucking twenty million dollars. Granted, you get split five ways because five people on your team. That's <laughs> still five say, million a pop. Yeah, I was gonna say you say twenty mi million for yeah. For the, the lead, yeah. Um, and in League of Legends, I believe their last one was close to, to six million. Again, again, it's just first place. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, I don't even yeah. really give a shit about the rest of the placements. But um, like, it, it's just mind blowing to me. Like PUBG was able to raise up to uh, forty million dollars for the total prize pool. Yeah. On their first uh, shit show that they call the fucking esport. Um, and then you have Overwatch, and they get a whole fucking league for it. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. If, to me, Smash Brothers, to me, is like a very... Maybe... Like, I know a fuck ton of people. That, I know more people to play that... Than all the others than combined. All, yeah, it's just, I don't fucking get how that one has no prize pool attached to it whatsoever. I don't know, maybe it's a sneaky shit where Nintendo doesn't want to, like, sponsor it. So, so they don't want to throw money at it. That's always the issue. Is Nintendo, for some reason, doesn't want to sponsor it. I don't understand why. Like that, and they don't want the allegations. It's an amazing fucking esports. The, the whole though. pedophile ring. That's yeah, like, yeah. They they don't they don't want that tied to them. For one, there's the, now. There for one, there was an issue six months ago in regards to the melee bracket. You no, just, I, I you heard, just need. I'm just saying, like, they don't need to like technically sponsor, but they just not need to not be dicks about it. Is like it? that that's the problem. They they they're against the esport aspect of the game. Is, is the real issue? No, not not Splatoon. They push for Splatoon. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Smash, Smash Brothers. Though. Is it because the tournament people bastardize it by taking the items out and Nintendo sitting there thinking the entire time, we put fucking items in the goddamn game and you won't use them? Maybe. I'll fuck you. I, I don't know. If Nintendo would say that, I, I would praise them. To, I'd buy an OLED Switch. If Nintendo was to come out and say that, I'll buy an OLED Switch. There you go, Nintendo. You gotta say it. I want you to acknowledge that the games are, or the <laughs> items are in the game for a fucking reason and use them. Bitch. Um... But yes, yeah, so that I, I that that's my whole thing with it, and it makes no sense to me. But there's a ton of tournaments out there, uh, but it doesn't get the traction. It doesn't get the traction it should get because Nintendo, Nintendo do, for some reason, does not want that game to be an esport, and I just don't understand why. And like you said, they have Splatoon. They have other games that they're more willing to push out as uh, an esport, except for the fucking Golden Goose that they just keep fucking. Uh, For all of you guys don't know, we did Smash tournaments. Huh? And what? We do. Did. Do. We did until fucking COVID. And well, we still do. Every year at the GameCon. <laughs> yeah, we do it again. It's a very small tournament, but it's there. It exists. Yeah. We've had the same winner for eight years now. 20 years. But, you know, whatever. Fucking Vince. What a fucking dick. Anyway. <laughs> um... So yeah, so I don't I, I, I thought it was interesting. Uh, but anyway, the tournament will run from July 15th to the 18th. Oh, um... Still time to get in. Maybe. My registration's probably closed. But fuck, who cares? Well, you, well if this, that's their premiere one, so I assume you have probably pre qualified. You gotta work your way up. Yeah, I assume you have to probably pre qualify, but. Work, yeah. work the Smash Brothers Underground, claw your way, claw your way out. I get it. It's alright. Uh, but it did say about 93% of it was cra uh, crowdsourced. Yeah. Um, through the. And so that's why the. Tournament's the, website. So that's why the prize pool's low, but it's also a lot to them, because. Yeah. That's but them like, getting their money back. 
Yeah. But, like, if you look at, like, a lot of other games, like, Blizzard does it, Dota does it, League of Legends does it, they, they put, like, compendiums, or they put something inside the, the game that where you can go, oh, I'll buy that, it gives me some cool shit, but then 50% of it goes to the prize pool. Yeah, but how so do you do that for Melee? Uh, honestly, you can, well, see, now that, I guess you can go down a, a rabbit hole with that one, but, I mean, they do have, obviously, their season passes. But, again, it's Melee, it's for the GameCube. There, you can't do, you can't. Smash Brothers, man, oh, shit. Man, yeah, you can't GameCube. do season passes. You can't do anything. There's no way to mo mon monetize it. Uh, what one? Is, oh. is Melee the GameCube? Yeah, Melee's GameCube. Brawl, Brawl's for the Wii. I missed uh, that. Smash 4 is for the Wii I missed that entire thing, too. You're right. You got me on that. Well, okay. Wow. Purdue, you could have saved us like 15 minutes of conversation on that one. <laughs> but, I'm sorry. I was too busy messaging my next fiance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Never exactly. mind. Yell you later. <laughs> well, I mean, technically you can then do it through the newest Smash. But not everyone plays it. These people that are playing Melee, they've been grinding Melee for at least 10 years. They refuse to move on. They play instead of playing melee. They do Project M. Will, that's that's will, the level will, of these guys are playing at. That probably was the best Smash they made. But 100, anyway, 100, again, one hundred percent. But anyway, I, I mean, um, I, I don't know what to say. But yes, I mean, there there are ways of doing it, and I'm sure they can find ways of doing it. One is obviously if Nintendo would be a little bit less of a bastard. Yeah, yeah. Bastard I mean, about like it. in all real, in all reality, like. Price pool right now is 140. You're telling me Nintendo couldn't match that without blinking an eye? Like, you know what I mean? Like, just throw that at them. Like, hey, good job, sport. Yeah. You know, like, you draw up more on. interest in the game. Blah blah, blah blah blah. Maybe you can fucking eventually move them over to the new system. I, I mean, I don't know. Jesus Christ. But uh, I don't know. I, I like I said, I thought it was interesting just because how small price pool was. Yeah, but it now it makes well, now it makes sense. Well, no, it's still pretty... I mean, I, I, well, I don't know what the newer games are, but I'm sure they're probably not, if they even do them, <laughs> to be honest. True. Anyway, uh, Marvel's Avengers. Avengers. Uh, players can duplicate heroes in multiplayer later this month. So I believe this is the game that Dace was playing that's sort of like... Uh, I can tell the name it was, but there's four of them top down, and they just go around beating things. Ultimate Alliance? Yeah, I think it's not what that is. I don't know. What... Uh, it says developer Crystal Dynamic confirmed Marvel Venture players on all platforms will be able to select multiple of the same hero. Okay. The one that... I, I, I just like, this is a taste thing, because I know Dace has it. I'm not sure if it was that one or if it was the first person thing. I just feel like that he hated. This is also proof of how slow of a news week it's been, because that's, that's a news story. Yeah. But, okay, cool. It was interesting, but yeah, again, it was more of a taste thing. <laughs> not yeah. anything. No. Um, Just Cause Dads explains why it uh, wants to bring the new game Contraband to Xbox Game Pass. So it's a g new game that they haven't really even talked much about, but it's going to be uh, an online-only game, which is a little scary. Um, and the reason that they're doing it is because they want to get the largest player base possible. So, this so is, microtransactions? This is in theory. No, this is uh, the Game Pass. That's what the $10 you pay per month yeah. or whatever. So, basically, they're trying to get as many... Yeah, well, they're probably some microtransactions. But, yeah, who the hell knows? Um, so, they're just trying to get as many people as possible. It, it's actually I mean, interesting. I don't know. I, I'm yeah. really curious how Microsoft pays their... The people that are on it. Oh. Because that, that, that's that's really the, the, the curious thing here. Because, like, I would assume... I'm, well, I'm... Do they just get a share depending upon... Hours played and shit? Yeah, I don't like, know. I'm sure they track the hell out of it. They can see how many hours you spend in-game... And then, like, based off of that, you get X amount of something or something, maybe? Maybe. maybe. Uh, but it's called Contraband. They haven't really said much. I don't have a release date for it yet, but they have announced. <laughs> it is coming, um, probably. But they announced at E3 that it was going to oh, be, okay. and it was showcased. But it, really, it was okay. really just a, a trailer. Well, it wasn't really anything. But, yeah. Hot breaking news. Only lukewarm news. <laughs> um... Apparently there's going to be a new RoboCop movie, or a new RoboCop game, uh, coming in 2023. It's from Terminator developer. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, we'll forget about this story, bring it back up again in two yeah. years. Yeah, so uh, the NatCon Connect 2021 event on Tuesday brought a big surprise, a new RoboCop game, NatCon developer... Tyon? I don't know. 
Sure. I work on uh, with the movie studio Metro Goldwyn Mayer uh, on a new sure. video game that adaptation of franchises sci fi series Robocop Rogue City. Okay. Uh, I saw a couple of screenshots. It actually looks really nice. Well, I mean, I would hope so. Um, By well, this point, yeah. games should look nice when they come out. It shouldn't look like Skyrim. <laughs> Fucking ugly ass game. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It whoa, shouldn't have yeah. even been that ugly either. Like, come on. Compared compared to Oblivion? <laughs> I never played Oblivion, so I can't speak on that one. The faces were horrendous. I, can't, I didn't play it. I don't know. Fun fact. Fun fact about Skyrim, though. The feet, the bare feet, is shoes oh, yeah. canvassed as as feet. It's, it's fun. I've seen... I, I don't... I'm just going to call it a meme because, like, we just call everything that's on the internet now a meme instead of anything else. Clearly. So, I, I've seen the meme. Also, fun fact that people are now just rediscovering. Instead of mining, doing the mining animation for the ores, you can just attack it. <laughs> Congrats, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. You and if you dual, dual wield, if you dual wield like two pickaxes, you can just like whirlwind, DPS whirlwinding, it, and it will just immediately drain all the ore. That is a very fun. No, no, it's not. Who the hell cares? Wee! Just saying. Bats. I'm just saying. No, I'm glad you woke up for that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's some more boring news. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm going back to reading my okay Cupid messages. Uh, Animal Crossing Monopoly. Ooh. What? Like it. Ooh. The actual Monopoly board. That That's oh. how depressing it is. Sorry, guys. You can pre-order it now, though. That's the first game I've ever is seen. It, is it a Switch game, or is it the actual board? The actual board. The actual board. Sorry. Why would I pre-order an actual board? The first time I've well, first of all, I've, as our, I've first time I've ever seen a Nintendo little Monopoly set. No, didn't they have some off-brand one? Like, I think some of these Monopoly games aren't actually licensed by Hasbro or whoever the fuck owns Mon Monopoly. Who has a Monopoly on Monopoly? Yeah. Yeah. But I think there's some of those off-brand ones that aren't actually because I think there is like a Mario Monopoly, but it's not actually. No, it's the Hasbro has an actual Mario Monopoly. Okay. Well, maybe it's not that. I don't know. I've seen some that definitely look shady as shit that you buy. It. Like, you know that pop up like calendar store that shows up around Christmas time. Yeah. Randomly in a mall, and you're never sure where they really came from. Yeah. They have the ones there that definitely look like oh, somebody yeah. just took a printer and printed out their own fucking board at Staples. I like it. And was like, yeah, it's Monopoly. So Monopoly, what I'm hearing is with an A. for the Gameathon days, so you should make a, a a wooden Monopoly board, have just hand paint it. And raffle it off. Um, that not a terrible idea, but I think out of principle, Dace hates board games, so I, mean, I don't they, think they he's gonna do. That. So then, what we can by Hasbro. Uh, well, not, not if we don't call it Monopoly. Call it Monopoly. Dace Man Corner. Call it Monopoly with an A. M O N A. Holy Monopoly. Yeah. Guess, there's ways. Yeah. There's ways around it. It's I, just. It's just a board. It's just it's just a board with squares that you roll dice and move pieces around. Exactly. I, it's not. We're not calling it Monopoly. Yeah. It just happens to use you know the Monopoly guy symbol car. Yeah, we'll make our own symbols. We'll have we'll have the Gibbadactyl as one symbol. Yeah, I'd love yeah. to see Dace whittle that out of a chunk of wood. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not doing Dace's abilities, but he's not like the eighty-year-old. Uh, tinker guy that can like whittle a gibbadactyl. Trying to make something that small. Don't, don't yeah. we have someone that has a three D printer? We have to know at least someone. No, that has we a 3D talked printer. about we talked about getting one at some yeah. point. I was like, I keep looking at them because because if we actually do D and D, I would love to get it to make figurines. Ah, that's where the conversation was. Yeah, yeah. but we we uh, that seems to never happen because we have asshole friends. It's simply fucking D and D. What do you? I'm all every like? Friday Saturday now, so. Anyway. Back off of that high horse. Um, Sony Woo! Uh, is going to be having a announced has announced their state of play stream for July eighth, featuring Deathloop. Deathloop. Um, the fuck is Deathloop? So I was a little I was a little shocked on this one. Um, so Sony announced state of play will air Thursday at eight, two p.m. Uh, five p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. PT, which is Pacific, I think, and then 5 p.m. ET, which I believe is Eastern. That um, numbers, yeah, that adds up. Math is correct. Which is a Bethesda upcoming title. Okay. So, that, so I, I was a little like, 
I started doing like one of these things because I'm like I, I thought. Swing that. I, well, I was like, isn't this an exclusive? Because I was a little confused. Um, and it actually is a PlayStation and PC only. So <laughs> it's not going on the Xbox. How the <laughs> fuck is it going to PC but not the Xbox? Um. So I was a little confused by that, um, because I was like, wait a minute, I thought that was supposed to be an exclusive for the PS5. I'm thinking it got delayed, is the problem, and then they got bought up by Microsoft, and they just never, I guess because it was already so late in the production, maybe? I don't know, but then you had a fucking, yes, yes. a year to, like, you know. You had contracts it, written up, like, huh, sucks to be you, you're beat. Um, so it, it, it's kind of interesting, um, yeah. Um, so it's supposed to launch on September 14th on the PS5 and PC after being delayed from uh, May 21st. Sony okay. recently announced that the next God of War release date will also be pushed back. Yeah, well, there's yeah, not yeah, enough PS5s. Whatever. What? There's not enough PS5s. Yeah, I was gonna exactly. say the consoles push back, the games push back, just whatever. It's fine. Well, yeah, Deathloop is for PS5. Yeah. No, it's again, okay. I thought it was supposed to be. That's what marketing tells you. Anyway, um, I believe that's yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all and I got. that's it. That's There's actually one more uh, gaming news that I found. Uh, New York City Police Department, in 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 order to have kids like them more. Guess what they decided no, to do? I can't say. I can't say what was in my head. Just keep no, going. no. You say. You say. Just, just, no. Just, 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 I was going out. along the lines Bad of life. a VR training session. <laughs> anyway, would it on. surprise you to say you're not too far from the truth? Go on. They, New York, uh, the New York City Police Department decided to launch a game system truck to rove the streets to let like, kids come outside and play video games at this. What police. video game? Did they get them to play GTA 5? Because that'd be fun. That would be fun. Probably. It, it didn't go into what games. Need for speed, all we know. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the article really talked about was in order for kids to like cops more and have kids hang out with cops. They decided to launch a fun I, I, video game truck. I, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna say this right now. Come in our van. It would be fucking hilarious the first stop that they do when they get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fucking great. It's New York fucking city, guys. It's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> they, hey, lost kids. All the, they lost all their PS5s. Just come on, kids. Come play in the van. We got video games in here. It's fine. We're cops. We're fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly. There's candy in fucking video games. She'll be fine. Next story that gets released is 10 kids go missing <laughs> as cop video game truck gets stolen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But hey, uh, you know, good reaching out, I guess. I guess, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> that would be so fun. Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. So yeah. Trivia time? Yeah, I can do trivia for a little bit. Gonna, that's what we're gonna do. Fuck that's what it. we do. That's what we do here. It's not what we do. It is what we do. You All and I right. are equally. I won last time, didn't I? Uh, I don't, I don't say I did. remember. I, 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 I want to say I, I did, did really well up until the end, and I had to put that bullshit answer in just because I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. See, you took you took <laughs> you took the lull, and I took. The oh win. yeah, I took the lull. It was pretty good. I don't so. remember what it was, but I know it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fair. <laughs> what a. Uh, what kind of trivia? I don't know why I'm rubbing my nipple while I ask you about trivia. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Because you know the Thai ladies love that. That's right. Do they? You know, I should actually start advertising this. Advertising to what? The show to boost our numbers. You should. 100. percent You should. Yeah, you should. Tell you can her pick. Right. You, you can pick anyone you want on this. Yeah. Tell tell her like I'm on live right now on Twitch TV. <laughs> yeah. And tell and tell them there's three single guys. Give you your single for now. Oh, what's it, ladies? Oh, what's it? Hold on a second. Because um, we're all going to Thailand. What is it? Yeah. We're all going. Twitch.tv slash, slash basement protocol. They spell in chat for me. I'm going to boost our numbers for a second. Oh, wait, 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 is, it, is, it, is it basement protocol production? Or is it basement protocol? I forgot. It, there's like so many ways that you should be able to get this. Like, can't you ask a... Yeah, basement protocol. Ask a Twitch bot how to do it. And I'm, honestly, the, I'm in the app, so I, if, I don't know what the actual... If I knew how technology is. worked, they shared the plugs Wait, and everything. I just, I'm stupid. Isn't it in our, uh, in the, isn't it in the comment, the, the uh, thing below? It's in, like, everything, yeah. Yeah, it's I was gonna say, much, yeah. Or no, we don't have the Yeah, stuff, we don't have the, the scrolly bar anymore. No, I mean, the thing that you go... Oh, there, uh, when basement you, protocol. When you, that's what I said, basement protocol. No, no, but it's thing? on the, the, uh, promo board. What? You set it up the every scroll? time you set it, yeah. I didn't set, I just 
blood list that Cheever set up last time. Is my excuse. I don't, I don't want my notifications still on. Yeah, it's I'm just a slash basement protocol. On. Yeah, I, I, I'm in the app, so I actually don't know. I assume it's just basement protocol. It is. Yeah. Again, look at the poster. It's at the bottom of the promo poster for the game fountain. There you go. I know I'm pointing off screen so nobody else can see it, but believe me, there's posters. Actually, we're surrounded by posters from all the game of thoughts. So the but that's before we rolled over all the new games. Not that one. Facebook and YouTube. These tech game of thought eight was under the new flagship. Yes, it is. We're new flagship, man. It's for bigger and better. Man, more guns, man. more armor. That's what I tell them every time. More minions. Yeah, more people to volunteer to do things than not do anything. That's right. But yeah, hey, we're still here. I don't know why. I keep showing up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much as far as I go. Because you want to, you want to drink and get away from the kid. I was gonna say, let's be realistic. We, we cancel the show. Oh. I'll still be here every Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna tell Ashley that the show's done. Exactly. It's not like she watches anyway. <laughs> she does every once in a while. It fucks me hard too. <laughs> she goes, "Why are we? Why are you talking trash the other exactly. day?" Exactly. Or still fucking like I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I was me, gonna really? say. I was gonna say it'd be that one episode we talk trash, but it's like every other we make some sort of slight towards her, so it's only fair. Talking <laughs> crazy. It's only fair. All right, Chief. What kind of trivia are we doing? Uh, we're gonna stick with Family Feud. Oh god. Oh good. I can argue more. I feel. I feel that that's a solid choice. No, as far as like fairness goes, and for him and I who are stupid. That's right. Because like if you do the movies and TV shows, we'll be sitting here staring at each Dog, other. Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, the riddle one was kind of weird, if I remember correctly. I, I actually like the riddles one, but yeah, I didn't answer like any correct. But <laughs> I just like riddles, even though I suck at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. That's fun. I didn't. Oh, I was wrong. But all right, yeah, we'll we'll feud it up, see what happens. Go exactly. ahead, buddies. All right. <laughs> And for you guys playing at home, feel free to enter into the chat as well. I'll be more than happy to keep track for you. All right. So speaking of marriage and Gibby's failed marriage. Oh man. Yeah. Tell me a slang word or a phrase used to refer to husbands. Used to refer to husbands. Yes. I, I like the bottom answer. The bottom answer is the best. With this. It has to be kid friendly. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna say hubby. Does that count? The hubby? That does. That's 19 points. What'd you say? <laughs> 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 to be fair, my first answer was gonna be bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I was like, no, I, 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 fine. It's, it, if it's not that, it's gotta be this. Oh. Well, no. Probably uh, old man. Douchebag. Old man I, is number one on the board. Yeah, I thought about that afterwards. <laughs> I was like, what do I call my husband? Wait, I don't have one. But I've heard old man, like... Uh, old th these are these are people who like each other. I'm not I'm not used to this. I'm sorry. Uh, these are all words that Ashley has called it. Uh, <laughs> no, see, f what's fun is, like, when, when a woman refers to her old man, she normally means husband. But other if a guy says my old man, they mean their dad. It's a yeah. weird little thing. Yeah. Well, the, the bottom answer to that is big daddy. <laughs> That's definitely what they call Gibby. How many? How many people said that? Two. Nine. 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 Why not? They're, they're, they're my nine girls right there, girls. Woohoo! Call me Big Daddy. Big Daddy. I, they all have that high pitched fucking beach blonde hair. Too. But yeah, hey, points. Sorry. Points hey, on the board. Frank taking yeah. the lead. Points. Name something you pick. both said no's. I don't know if you're paying attention. You both said no's? Fucking over there flirting yeah. with your Thai girlfriends, not paying attention. I What's am. What's family feud? Right. I did. The The third question she asked me is, have you ever been married before? <laughs> and did you say only if you call me Big Daddy? Yeah, only call me Big Daddy. No, I did not. The first question they always ask is, do you have a son? Because I, I, I obviously I list that. I don't blindside them. It's like, yeah. how, they go, so do you really have a child? I'm like, yes. They go, how old is he? Five. That's nah, all you're you fucked up, man. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but now you tell me he's five. They're gonna put him to work. You gotta watch out. And I'm okay with that. The kid needs to learn some discipline. That's right. fair. I see they haven't tuned in Twitch though. That's right, bastards. Because again, I need someone to put it in the chat so I can blast it and go, "Hey, 
watch me every Tuesday night, learn some English, and you'll be my favorite girlfriend. I'll refer to you as my girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> and refer to all of them at the same time. What do you, why do you gotta, <laughs> oh, y'all. Exactly. Exactly. Why do you gotta put it in the chat? Like, just put it to them. Twitch slash Basement Protocol. Yeah. Why do you need it in the chat? Because I don't know how to spell. Basement? You know how to spell basement? B-A-S-M-E-N-T. You fucked up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. B-A-S-E-M-E-N-T. P-R-O-T-O-C-O-L. You forgot the fucking E, so to be I, fair, I, I gave up on it. Actually, fucking cheer, it's right fucking there. Your name in the chat is Basement Protocol. Oh, yeah, it is. Actually, yeah, you know. Wait, what? It is when, when you, you type something, hit enter. Yeah, just okay. type something and hit enter, your name is Basement Protocol, because that's the name of the fucking channel. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to fucking realize that, dude. Yeah. So, oh, what are you looking at? What do you mean? Okay, look at the chat. Okay. You see where it says totally not Jess. And then above that it says totally not Jess again. No. And then it says basement protocol. I mean, who's that asshole that's in that chat room? I'm just curious. So <laughs> that one right there, the green text. Yeah. That's what right asshole there. what asshole is the one typing that in again? I'm sorry. Clearly clearly not me. Clearly. Right, well well we understand you're sleep deprived or something like that. I get my first two days off. Ever? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm excited. Come on, Steve. What's the next question? The next question is, name an occupation that m that's most likely to cheat on taxes. I mean, God. I mean, I, I know there's a better answer, but I like this answer. I have absolutely no idea how to spell this. I don't think I spelled that right, but I'm going with politician. A mobster. Because... Gangster. A gangster slash mobster. That's actually not a bad one. That's what they always get out in. That's fuck you, Jess. That's a really good one. I well, no. See, I was gonna say like that's the obvious answer, but no, no, no. Mobster. An accountant. <laughs> that's what she means, right? Right. You I, said, I'm sorry. You said master. I said mobster. Mobster. <laughs> mobster slash gangster. They all go to jail for tax evasion, tax fraud. You can't Pop tell me that's not on the list. Politician. But I, I like the. Account. You're gonna tell me it's not on the list. It's bullshit, Steve. Yeah, and, and it just went with a uh, accountant, aka accountant. Accountant is the number one answer on the board. That's right. They all, everyone knows, those strippers don't fucking declare all their money. I mean, accountants. <laughs> to be fair, yes. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Uh, really Every gangster one. in history has gone to jail for tax evasion if uh, they didn't yeah. die. That's what they got. What's his name on? Al Cabone? Yeah. Yeah. And you're uh, telling me they didn't interview a single person? Fuck it. Fuck out of here. They interviewed a bunch of fucking strippers. And they're like, huh? <laughs> me, tee hee. Oh, what do you call your husband? Big daddy. Exactly. No wonder that. <laughs> now it's making sense. Yeah. They interviewed the same fucking people for all these questions. Did Gibby get zero points too, though? Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. All right. I'm getting cro. Oh, my no, God. Yeah. yeah. You got You got it. Okay. All right. Name a way in which a magician might end a relationship. But I don't want her to hack her in the middle of the night. Saw her in half. All right, so we have That's disappear. Cool. Gibby, it's fucking over. that is the bottom answer oh, of really? the board. Jesus Christ. I really thought that would have been higher. Yeah. Mine's probably not even on the fucking board then is what I'm going to I was going to say ghoster. <laughs> oh, mine was up there. Look number two on number, the board. So everybody goes for murder there. Yeah, okay. What the fuck? What's number one? Number one was make her vanish. Oh, make her uh, vanish. Go the other way. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Seems like a lot of work. You either kill her or you just disappear. Uh, well, making her vanish probably is killing her. <laughs> All right. We surveyed 100 people. Tell me something that has water in it. What? Tell me something that has water inside like, of it. Like, there, I, it's so a container. Like, just, like a, just a bottle? I don't feel like trying to spell aquarium. Water balloon. So are you going to attempt to spell aquarium? No. I put bottle. I'll take my zero <laughs> fucking points. Thank you very much. Aquarium was number two on the board. Yeah, I'll take my zero points. Thank you very much. I know where you're going with this. I know how you play your game. Three All points right. for water balloon? 
You tell me no one had a fucking water bottle during the survey? Uh, apparently not. Uh, apparently it's too hard. Like they're probably sitting there, like they're sitting there holding it. Like name something that has water in it. Ah, I, I don't know. Uh, water uh, bottle? I should have did beer. <laughs> Bud Light can. This is water. Fucking bullshit. That's all this is. Yeah. That's funny. But also, I was gonna say crayon because there's one over in the side of the room, and I'm like, hey, that's water. But also, didn't know lake. Ocean was number four. Ocean. See, like I didn't know what? how. I didn't know how crazy we we're going. The with bottom. It. The bottom answer was toilet. People went toilet before a bottle. Yes. Wow. Fucking people drinking out of the goddamn toilet. Exactly. All right, so let's move on to the next question so I, I can read thinking, my messages. I was thinking human. <laughs> my belly. Human body was number 10. <coughs> See? Number 10, yeah. Name something no fairy tale would be complete without. Uh, a good dickin'. Good old dickin'. Uh, I spelled princess, but I clearly don't know how to spell it. Yeah, it's probably, I, I said a kiss. Which is Disney fucking. A Disney dickin'. Yeah. So what you're saying is... A kiss. That okay. is indeed what I'm saying. Even Alright. And what did you say, Gibby? You said princess, princess. Which is a lot better answer than what I put. Oh, I, I just thought immediately thought Disney. And that's, doesn't all of them start out with a princess for some fucking reason? Yeah, well, marketing. Yeah. I mean, Pizza, leave, 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 leave. Zero? Bye, bye. Zero. Like every fucking fairy tale is. Are we talking like grim fairy tales where they died? No. Because then my other answer is death. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's either kiss or death, depending on who's telling the story. No. I was, no, I was no. also thinking an apple. I don't know why. That's only in like one. Yeah. But it's probably like number two on the fucking list. Wait, I only got five. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah, what? What? So, what? What are the answers there? All right. Number, number one on the board. Happy ending. No. Which is a fucking kiss and or dickin. <laughs> Your Thai people know all about happy endings. Tell me they don't think there's a dick. You're the one trying to get a tie when you like, damn. That's a happy ending. But all right, number two. Number two was Prince for 24 points. But not fucking Princess. Why? <laughs> this is sexist? Why? No, this is sexist. Right what? there, sexism right there. White man always holding his back. Right fucking there. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, go on. I'm out. Wait, 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 I, I'm at number five. I have five. What, am I last? Yeah. No, no. The third choice for six points was which? The bottom answer is Fairy Godmother for two points. Fairy Godmother. There's only like one that has a Fairy Godmother too, so. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't even. Yeah, sexism strikes again, my friend. Sexism strikes again. Was it 100 females, you asked? Did Probably. I just have points? Or is it 100 males? If it feels female, it would say princess. It, males might go, well, I don't know why males If it didn't princess. say prince slash princess. That is so fucking ridiculous. <sighs> like, normally, they at least in the actual show, you know, there was a slash. Jesus. Gender identities and shit. That, that's fucking retarded. I'm, I'm like, never going to call back up with this fucking ring. That's why I did. I get points for happy ending with the kiss? Because I should. I mean, I, I wanted to give it to you right off the bat, but then, I, like, these are fighting. I was like, there we go. Just solidify. Deal. Do it. See, you gotta argue your point better. You didn't argue. Yeah. You gotta I, fight. I, you gotta fight. My with argument Steve. is they got fucking morons. And then Steve always Everyone gets Everyone knows that. it's the princesses, not a prince. The princes aren't even in it. Like, they're in it for like two minutes, if that. They don't do sh You know, they show up to kiss her. That's what the fuck is Exactly. Name. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Give fucking goddamn, unless, you know, they're talking grim, and then, you know, I don't know. Disney digging. I also hope that your Taiwanese girls tuned in for the part where we just yelled about a happy <laughs> ending. That would have been exactly. fantastic time. Uh, the viewers are now just going down now that you mentioned it. Yeah, yeah that's why. Thank I'm, you for pluralizing that. I was that. really, ho I just want to make sure it came to their attention. Okay, yes. She's looking for a massage. I could go for the massage. I, I, I do want a massage. Like, that would just be like, phenomenal. Happy ending or not, like, my back could just use it. Anyway, next question. Anyway, name a cause of traffic accidents. Why would you crash Wait, a car? what year was this? No idea. This is recent. I will say recent. <laughs> like, lost of feet? I mean, I got... Well, I have a good answer and an answer I want to say. Woman drivers? No. Oops. 
this is my good answer, and I have a better answer. Right. I put drinking alcohol. Oh, cell phone. Uh, cell phone? Gibby, you're going with cell phone. Do you want to change I, your answer? I kind of want to change it to roadhead. <laughs> 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 I won't tell. I won't tell you what one got you to the thirty-three points. I'm uh, just saying. Wrote it. Clearly. <laughs> I put drinking. Twelve I got points. points for drinking. Twelve points for drinking. Yeah. You don't know how to drive on your phone. Get off the road. Well, now it's a lot easier nowadays because your front, your car will talk to you. Yeah, it's true. But anyway. Anyway, name something birds fly into. I don't know why I put a question mark after everything I write. I'm like, I don't know. Fucking trees? Cool oh. window. Gibby with the max points there. They fucking live in trees! <laughs> but do they fly into it? They'll fly into yes! It. They do fly into they it. They crash into the tree. I'm, I'm just going to tell you this. At my parents' house, it was ridiculous how many birds we killed because they flew into the fucking bay window. I don't understand no, how not, fucking retarded they can be. I'm not necessarily disagreeing with your answer. I'm just, so you have a tree. And if a bird goes into the tree that is into the tree, chills on a branch right fucking there inside of the tree branches. That's Do you want to know what number actually, two is? That's actually a good point. Do you want to know what number two is? Please tell me birdhouse. Nest. <laughs> oh, where the fuck do you think that's at? <laughs> do you uh, want to know? Do you want to know what's below your answer? You want to know what's below your answer, there, Frank? Fucking women's hair. <laughs> the sky. Well, I want to. I, I love that answer. Well, where do birds fly to? Uh, the sky. They uh, they go up. They go up. Then they come down. I pick these up and put them down. Right. Me and Steve Harvey are gonna fucking throw hands. <laughs> if I ever get on Family Feud, like what the fuck, Steve? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. I'm sorry. I feel we, like I feel like no matter what they do, when we surveyed 100 people, but it needs to have a star and tell you what state we're in first off. <laughs> All right. We went down to Bama. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Now, 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 now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Because there's always 100 people. Do they do that? I'm actually curious now. Do they do that when people are like walking in? Is like the audience actually the survey? I have no fucking clue how or why they survey people. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just. I'm more interested. Like, you I know, know, nowadays with like internet polling. Yeah, you can do a grease monkey or do whatever it. it is. That yeah. monkey thing. Yeah. Survey monkey. Survey monkey. Yeah. All right. Anyway. I think I'm you're sorry. Bad. <laughs> Let us name something specific everyone complains about. Fucking Gibby. Steve fucking Harvey. <laughs> Didn't we already have this one? Complains about I don't fucking. I'm just. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be it. wrong again and have to be mad about it. Fucking money. money. No, yeah. we definitely did this one. Yeah, I feel I like we did this money, one before. Money, well, but no, that it was before. It was spouse. Yeah, that wasn't it, a, what is fight, spouse yeah. is fight about. Yeah, but it's. It's always money. It's, it's. I was gonna say it's probably almost the same exact answers, because that's what people fight about. By the way, I looked up fucking softball bats. Yeah. What the fuck happened, dude? They spike in or some shit. It was like $400, $450 for a bat now. How much was it before? Or how much were you thinking it was going to be? $250, $300. Oh. I was willing to drop like three. I, I spent uh about $225 for my bat. I was willing to go up to like $300. And then I looked on there and I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. This is not what I was expecting. This is not what like, I signed up for. Yeah, not what I was setting up for. It's like... Man, uh, there's probably a bat short. <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know. Aluminum. There is indeed an aluminum yeah, shortage. Maybe. I actually don't even know if that's what they're made out of. Yeah, they're made out of aluminum. Sure. Softball bats are made out of aluminum. I was upset, though. I looked at it, and then I fucking shit myself, and I'm like, there's no fucking way. And then I Googled, like, top bats, and they're all $400 plus. Dollars. And I'm like, I know I did this, like, two years ago when I got my bat, mm -hmm. and it was only around, like, 300 bucks. That's why I assumed, like, $300. And I'm like, I fucking hate you guys. You're assholes. Yeah, uh... And not, apparently, Amazon does not sell softball bets. Really? But they no, are they eligible, people destroying cars. They are eligible for prime shipping, but they don't, they don't come oh. from their warehouses. Oh, they third-party it, but you still yeah. get prime delivery? Yeah. Which I thought was interesting, because... Yeah. But anyway, I'm sorry. 
But softballs, softball bats are made out of aluminum and composite. Yeah, I, I probably got to Google and figure out when the best time to buy a softball bat is. When aluminum prices go down. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm assuming yeah. there's got to be in and out of season, is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, I end of, right end now, of season. I thought right gotta, now would be out of season, but I guess no, it's not. No, see, out of season would be uh, towards the end of fall. Because everyone starts going inside again. But no one's yeah, playing softball right now. We are. Yeah. Well, uh, us fat old people are, yeah. And if anything, you got <laughs> your fall... The only, the only people are going to be using that field. You, you got your fall league coming up, too. Fall league's probably not for two, uh, like two, months. two months. Exactly. So people are buying to train. Buy it to train. Go get try out for your team. Come on, Gibby. Come on. Try, try out for your team. I mean, I played soccer all year round, so I don't, I don't know what it means. And that's why the ball, that's it. why the price for balls always stay the same. Sure, keep going with that. <laughs> Use a different ball in the winter league. It's a big fucking tennis ball. They're actually fun to kick. <laughs> I am jealous, though, now. No, we're really getting off on a topic, side topic here. How come when I played soccer, they didn't have these beach blast things? What beach blast things? They do oh, soccer yeah. T- they do soccer oh, tournaments on the fucking sand. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, why did that exist? I would fucking hate it, though. No, fuck Running that. around on the beach during the middle of the fucking summer? Give me just dive tackling everybody. Pretty much, yeah. That's what you're <laughs> fucking talking about. That sounds amazing. But, uh... We're saying we start a beer league and end but then, it. But you're, you're in the beach, though. You're going to be there all, like, weekends. Like, we did the Hershey thing a couple of times. That was always a blast. That sounds yeah. terrible. But, like, if you do it at the beach and stuff, like... Because they were doing it at, like, Wildwood and stuff, so you have all the amusement parks and shit there. I don't know. To me, it just seems a lot more fun than what I did. You know I do hate the ocean, but I like music parts. You just, I like you, the boardwalk. You just want to reminisce the days of your teenage angst of at the boardwalk. I like the boardwalk. I don't know. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, boardwalk's not bad. Yeah. I hate I the mean, beach, though. So. I, I also hate the beach. That's why I said it's Actually, terrible. now that I think about it, yeah, that would be kind of fun. <laughs> I would get sand, I would sand everywhere. Yeah, everywhere shit. Everywhere That's the whole days. reason why I hate the beach. <laughs> sand everywhere for days. Yeah. And then the sand's going to be fucking hot as shit. So you got to uh, play barefoot. And it just makes you run faster. I assume they've had to cool it down. There's no way you'd be running. How do you cool the sand down? Water it. What the fuck do you mean? Then it turns into then it turns rock hard. Defeats the whole purpose of playing uh, on the sand. I don't. It's it's one turn it rock hard. It will it will cool it down some, and you just gotta give it a couple minutes, and it'll it'll go back to sand. Sure. Yeah, you just keep spraying it over and over. Light mist, gentle yeah. mist. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I'm just, you know, all of a sudden. We were actually talking about doing it a couple years ago. Because, uh, and then we, we kind of figured, you know, we're all fat and out of shape. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. But, yeah. That was back when I was working at the uh, old place. Yeah. Because I think uh, Justin was trying to make us do it. That was a while ago. Me, I, don't, I don't know if you remember Dimitri or not. I, I met him, like, twice. Yeah, he wanted to do it, I guess. Because uh, his sister, I guess, was doing it at the time. Craziness, crazy. Anyway, sorry. Next anyway, question. We really sidebarred that. It's okay. It's why it's, it's it's what I like. We lost all our viewers that aren't giving. That's it. right. Oh, yep. Only me, baby. Woo! Which means I lost all my Thai girls. <laughs> yeah. Well, we lost them after happy ending. Evidently, they don't want to do that. Yeah, bastards. That's yeah, they, why they have braces. No sex, they they all sex, wear sex braces marriage. well into adulthood for that very reason. Sex life over there is very weird. How how tall are they? Sorry, we're going real on a real tangent now. Uh, the one that I'm talking to right now, like five foot two, five foot one. The, the survey question. Four foot eleven. Four foot eleven. Yeah. She can't even get all the rides in the amusement park. <laughs> Someone has to hold all my stuff. I guess. Yeah. Might as well be my wife. Jesus Christ. Four foot eleven. My God, I knew they were small over there, but that's fucking ridiculous. But small is fun. You're not gonna get any D1 babies though. Yeah, but that's like two inches away from. But they're Asian. Them. They're gonna be smart anyway. Come on, they're gonna get scholarships. I don't need a D1 kid. Hey, you ain't getting scholarships no more. Too many Asians in college. They ain't giving them out to them anymore. That's right. No, they have an Asian Asian only stuff. Come on. Yeah, yeah, but there's a cap on it. No. Yeah, that's because my kid's gonna be the fucking smartest one. No, it's still got your genes in it. <laughs> Harvard was actually got sued by the government because they were allowing too many Asians in. Yeah. It's actually it's actually an issue. No, oh, I know. I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like there are not too many though. Yeah, that's what I yeah. said. I said his kid's not gonna get a scholarship. 
because he's just because they're Asian. He's gonna look. He's gonna Asian. look white, but he's gonna be a half Asian. He's gonna have the Asian smartness to him, but he'll look white like me. Yeah. That's or like her. The, that's or like her. The worst thing I'm ever. not gonna force. I don't want to force another son on me. I'll take you, a girl. You know how it identifies. Exactly. <laughs> not until not until they turn 18. You don't want to force another son yeah. on you. You have I, a girl that identifies I, as a boy. I love all the gender reveals I go to now. Who knows? That's exactly what I say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're automatically assuming it's gender? Yeah. <laughs> Who fucking... knows? Yeah. Because I did it at uh, Justin and Alicia's. So I was like, hey, man, you know it's white. It should have been white, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I did that I, to and, a dog. It, the guy, all the guys think it's hilarious, and all the girls hit me. I don't know why. Yeah. That's par for the course. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, unless it's carbon. And I was like, congratulations. I heard it's black. I'm still waiting for that bombshell. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be. Uh, uh, there's always a chance. Like, if you have any sort of black in your history, it's it's possible. Oh, one hundred percent. That's right. Or the fact that it just isn't Kerbin's. <laughs> also possible. Anywho, we got another question that I can yell about. Yeah. <laughs> Name a reason kids give for not finishing their dinner. What? Why do kids? Make excuses for not eating dinner. Well, just because they're full. Oh, yeah, I was going to say full. That is number one on the board. Well, no shit, Sherlock. What else could you... Uh, <laughs> That's I don't like it yucky. That is number three on the board. Tired? No, actually. Uh, I'm surprised. That, yeah, that's fucking, a good yeah, one, though. I was going to say, that, that's, that's another excuse they give. I was going to say, Doug tried that one once. He was sitting there just, I'm tired. Yeah. Like, no, no, eat. Yeah. What the fuck else can there be? I mean, uh, not I'm hungry. Not they hungry. dislike it. Stomach hurts. Ate a big lunch. <laughs> you did not. I gave you lunch. I was gonna say the lunch ones are fucking hilarious because the, the parents obviously fed them the lunch. So yeah. They know whether or not they're lying. I had a big lunch. Oh, you sure. <laughs> get the fuck up. You had like three apple slices Wait a minute. and First some of strawberries. First, fucking child smart enough to say that. Oh, I had a big lunch. Like, guys. what? Are you? What? what are we talking like a nineteen-year-old so, child? Like, what se- the fuck? Seventeen and a half. <laughs> like, yeah, like the fucking eight-year-old ain't gonna fucking be that smart to go. Oh, I had a big. No, 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 fucking. <laughs> it's gonna say that. Uh, that's funny. Next. Name a person you don't necessarily like, but are obligated to get along with. Ashley is number is it one. Specific? Like, what do you mean? Um, I'm gonna say sibling. I said in-laws. In-laws is number one on the board. Okay, I was saying specific because I wasn't sure if I had to be specific on it. Mother, mother, mother or father, yeah. So that's right. I don't, I don't have in-laws. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have to watch it. They don't exist. And what is sibling? Brother, sister? Point-wise. Oh. Is it oh, eight? Uh, eight points, yeah. Fuck, really? What? How yeah. many fucking only children did they fucking Yeah, have? really. That's what? crazy. I thought that was a good one as well. What? what yeah, what up? Parents? Yeah. Kids? Yeah. I want kids to be on there. Fucking hate them. But you gotta get along This is where I, I, I would... I would Argue Teacher? that two and three are the same. Two and three are the same. Okay, what are they? Boss, coworker. Time out. Time out. What the hell was the question again? Name a person you don't necessarily like, but are obligated to get along with. You ain't obligated to get along with your fucking boss. Tell him to go fuck himself if he's wrong. Yeah. So, uh, luckily, I've had good bosses, but yeah, I, I would. Say, well, unless you're talking about Pete, I told him to go fuck himself <laughs> multiple times. See, <laughs> and especially co-work- coworkers. Oh fuck no. I mean, he wasn't necessarily my direct report. <laughs> my direct report I reported mean, <laughs> Unless we got different meanings of, like, get along. Yeah. Like, I won't run him over with a forklift. Oh, I would have. <laughs> Fucking asshole. That's... <laughs> Call me snarky. One too many. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. All right, here we go. Anyway. Name a disadvantage of owning a pet. I, 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 the more I do this, the more I realize I don't want to spell. The more I do this, the more I realize I hate this fucking thing. <coughs> the cost. That's a messy. It's fucking expensive to have a pet. Got a fucking 
everything. To clean up after it. I will fun. argue yours. I, I will argue number that. one is cleaning up. Well, that's the whole yeah. Messy. Yeah, they're yeah. messy. You gotta clean up after them. Yeah. The cost isn't fucking on there because these people are millionaires and don't give a fuck. It's gotta be number two, right? No, number two there. is walking. I don't understand who oh, walks. Fucking fat fucks get out there and walk your goddamn pet. Wait a minute. Who the fuck walks? To, like well, most people dog. just let them outside, out back, what, the fenced pets, in. If you have a yard. That's also a dog. Who, who's to say it's not a snake? Or, or, a, cat. or a cat. People That's, do walk. I've seen people that walk their cats. Yeah, it's so fucking it's weird. weird. Yeah, yeah weird. but you don't have to walk it. It's not part of the obligation. Uh, three is grooming. Wait a minute. What else other than a dog do you walk? That's what I'm saying. Panther. Like, wait a minute. The majority of the pet, like hamster, you don't walk. Like a Giraffe. guinea pig, you don't walk. That's like, what I'm saying. Number two makes absolutely no sense. Lizard, you don't sense. walk. Snake, you don't walk. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Number three is grooming. Uh, four, Again, what? Can, what? Hey, guess what? You can pay somebody to do it. Goes into the cost. But you're, but only a small amount of animals need to be groomed. Like a small Head, like percentage of groomed. cats need to be groomed. A small percentage of dogs need to be groomed. Yeah, but don't worry, cause they're fucking free, evidently, cause paying for shit isn't. You don't a have to groom a snake. Don't have to groom a fucking hamster. Like less freedom. Why? Do you I have mean, to go on vacation, you have to have someone watch it. You have to be there for your pet. You can, or you pay but, again the cost to put them in like. You can put it in a board. You can, yeah. friends, family. You try. How is that less? That doesn't make it. But sure. Feeding it. I, oh, really? Feeding it? Does that cost fucking money? Oh, <laughs> well, half these fucking things are covered in money. <laughs> Just nobody factors in that part of it. All right. I, and the I, last one is smell. Fucking bathe your pet once in a while. <laughs> Lick it. Like, so I leave my cat. We left our cats alone for a week. Straight. By themselves. We have automatic feeders. We, fi we fill it up maybe once a month. Mm -hmm. It's got an automatic water fountain thingy, which costs too much fucking money, did, but whatever. We don't have to go there. Did you have a lot of stuff you had to clean up after when you got back? Uh, we clean it up basically every other week. Oh, so it doesn't sound all that messy. For what, the cats? Yeah, yeah. the cats are a good tap. Well, yeah. they got no, it's okay. I'm, four things, and there's like two of them. I'm just realizing the fucking flaw in this whole fucking thing. Yeah. Clean up their poop, maybe, when you walk the dog? Or well, even have them in your yard? Changing, changing the litter box? I, I, well, Change, I was, changing the uh, bedding if it's a rabbit or a hamster? I was gonna say, yeah, I, I, I'm more upset with all the fucking fur that just goes fucking everywhere. So. Again, I'm, I'm going to go on Family Feud just so I can fight Steve Harvey. Yeah. Is what's going on here. Plus, and our cats seem to throw up a lot for some fucking reason. Which is a problem. Okay. If, if we've never done this question before, it's going to be worth triple the points. Let's close out. Right. Uh, name something people do to destroy or hide incriminating evidence. I mean... Uh... I got two answers for this one. That's fine. My answer's gonna be fucking wrong anyway, because I've been wrong this, like ever since the second question. All right, I'm gonna go with my second answer because I like my second answer better. Yeah. Fire. I said, I said burn it. Uh, but my my I was also thinking bleach. <laughs> Chemicals. <laughs> so that doesn't do much for a triple end it if you fucking all get it or both got yeah. it. Yeah. Was fire number one? Yes, it was. Yeah. That's Eighty-one what points. I was, I was sitting there debating it, and I was like, ah, is bleach on there? Um, I bet you it is. Burn it, shred it, burn it, shred it, bury it, flush it, murder someone. What do you do with the body? <laughs> it just creates more all, problems down the road. All of the above is what you do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do another one, just to see if I can come back to beat guy can't. I don't even think, I don't know the math, but I'm pretty sure Gibby won. I got a lot of it. Well, you know, you got a lot of big points up there. I don't. At the end, yeah. I did shit in the beginning, but you were there too hot <laughs> Evidently, I was in a different part of the mall than the survey was. <laughs> yeah. So, final one. Name a possession some people would like to be buried with. A possession? A possession. If you were to bring one thing. I'm sure there's just. They said, if you could bring one thing to get buried with you, what would you choose? To 100 people. I mean, I'm gonna be. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with this, but I don't think this is right. I said phone. Pet. 
<laughs> Why? 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 Know. Why? I'm not gonna lie, I actually what? thought about pet. <laughs> like, Egyptian style, like, now me and my wives, the pets, all y'all coming with me. And now what's gonna be a dick and say money? Fuck her. Yeah. Take it away. Money was number two. Are you fucking kidding me? What's, what's number one? Jewelry slash watch. I just assume that, you know, that's just normal. I thought you were going to say computer. dressed up. Like, hide my internet history. <laughs> hide my... Exactly. <laughs> you're telling all, me... All my pornos. Yeah. You're telling me all these fucking people that get in car accidents with a fucking phone. It's clearly worth dying for, but not clearly enough to be buried with, huh? All right. Yeah. All right. Name a musical instrument you do not blow into. Hey, a guitar. Write it down. I don't want to. He's gonna write the same fucking one. Yeah, I was gonna say, loud, yeah. Well, I was thinking the same thing, guitar. Well, I'll, all right, I'll, I'll put something else down then. No, because the guitar is number one on the board. Yeah, you both will start fucking fighting. Frag will bitch. I, I, well, I'll bitch about it. Because then I my second best answer. It's gotta be drums. I, I, I was almost just gonna play ukulele. Just completely <laughs> all right, here we go. I gotta chuckle out of this one. Name something that gets hot when it's turned on. <laughs> I love these answers. I will count that as people. Uh, well then, there's probably two because I put Cheever's Thai wife. <laughs> Slash stove. <laughs> Slash stove, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're just, we're, we're just leaving it as it is. What the fuck? <laughs> No one's watching. The points don't matter. <laughs> exactly. The points don't matter. Oh, my God. Although, yeah, Gibby's got a lot of high points up there. You, yeah, started, yeah. you started off slow. I started out horribly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we had, like, very similar answers, but somehow his were number one, and then me, the fucking Nimrods they asked, were like, oh, I don't know. I don't have any brothers and sisters. I like all my siblings. Fuck right. that. I don't understand in-laws even. Like, well, granted, it's been a while since I dated, but I liked all my girlfriend's parents. I don't mind them either, but I know that's a big complaint. So. No, I know that's the stigma, but it's like, but do you, siblings? Come on. Who actually likes their siblings? I like one, Somebody not the other. grew up in a heavier household. Exactly. Give <laughs> you, yeah, 392 points. Oh, you actually did the math. Yeah, that's totally more than I got. That's a lot more than I got. Uh, did I get points for uh, Cheever's tie wife slash stove? 12. Yeah, that was 12. That was only and 12. I got, I got me, which is also a person, so we, we tied really. It was a Woohoo! We got 19. So we do the plugs 30. while he's doing his math. Well, I mean, the plugs are the True. thing. I mean, you can. Check us out, me Mondays on Minecraft. I was gonna say, Gibby plays Minecraft on Monday, and we, well, I play with him. Yeah. Cheever randomly pops into random events. Uh, and That's hopefully it. next week, uh, Dace will be here. Hopefully. I mean, I know Dace, I think Dace normally does the Twitter plugs, too, but... I don't know the Twitter. Like, pers the personal Twitter flugs. Flugs? Right. Flugs. Tweet, tweet, tweet. But I don't, I don't fucking, I, like, I tweet maybe once a month when I get bored. I did tweet at, uh, Mojang, I think I said this last week, I tweeted at Mojang to send me a PS5 so I can buy Minecraft again. That's right. You need another, another subscription, baby. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> I think uh, Jared plays tomorrow. Base is supposed to be the day after. Might be me. Depends if he's uh, dead or alive. Yeah. So uh, for the for the few, for my chickens, for the proud, and that whale, and for the franktacular, thanks for coming. Join us next time to the plugs. Play it. What's up, basement dwellers? I hope you enjoyed the latest basement protocol productions creation. I'm Chris the Dace Man Dace. I'm Frank. And we want to drop some social media plugs on you. Check us out on Twitter at the BPP Official for all our tweeting needs. Or you can go over to Instagram at the BPP Official as well for all our picture needs. Or Facebook, Facebook slash Basement Protocol Productions. Or YouTube slash Basement Protocol Productions. And if you're somebody who likes live, nonstop action content, you can go over to twitch.tv slash Basement Protocol. Or if you just like the internet in general, you can go to www.basementprotocolproductions.com. Either way you do it, doesn't matter. We'll see you next time.